Hey, so what is going on everybody? So I have an updated video here I wanted to share with you guys on how to get, download, and install the official Android 5.0 Lollipop system image for the Google Nexus 5 phone, which I have right here. Now this will also work on the Google Nexus 7 2013 second generation tablet as there's also a link there for that official factory image as well. Now at some point today they released the factory images, the official ones for the Android 5.0 Lollipop and post those links on the factory images for Nexus devices page, which we are going to go there and download. So now I feel better if I do an official video instead of one on the Android preview system image as I did yesterday. This video is going to be similar to that video, but I feel better knowing that I have an official video done now. So we're going to go through the process here and flash the phone. Just a couple of things here guys if you guys are rooted you're gonna lose root this is gonna wipe your phone out entirely if you have pictures music and files and data make sure you get rid of that stuff back that up um, get that off your phone because this process is gonna wipe all that stuff out you know you have to go through and unlock the bootloader now I'm gonna be using the ADT bundle to do this and going into fast boot mode to go through and flash so I'm gonna walk you through how to do that and if you guys have any questions or comments or, you know, I get to a process where something's not working for you, leave me a comment. I probably, I have a ton of videos on my channel showing how to, you know, do other parts of this. So it's hard because I never know how far someone is in the process here. Anyway, let's get started. What you want to do is go ahead and go to uh, Google Factory Images. So you want to Google that. And then what you'll see here is a link for the developers, google.com. Click that. And I'm so happy they got this released. I can install the official Lollipop image now. Now if you come down the page here, you're going to see see they have it for the Nexus player. There's the link for Android Lollipop right there, 5.0. That is for Nexus player. They have the Nexus 9 one here. Okay, and here we go, Hammerhead Nexus 5. This is for the phone, and there is the link that's posted now. So this is the official release. Now what you want to do is click this link, and you're going to download that image file. Okay, so you guys click that and you should be downloading that now. And uh, real quick, I am going to go over here to my folder called development and show you that I already downloaded it to speed the video up here. So once you get that downloaded, you need to go ahead and um, extract the files from, you know, this hammerhead. So what you got to do is right click on it once you get it downloaded. And you need some type of extraction program on your computer like 7-Zip or I'm using something called WinRAR. It's a free extraction program, so I'm just going to tell it, left-click here and tell it to extract the files here, and you're going to see it pop up a new folder here. And what we want to do is go in and get those files. So once the folder extracts, go in here, select all the files out of the folder, right-click on them, and copy them. Now what you want to do is I'm going to uh, go back and I downloaded what is called the ADT bundle and I'm going to go into the SDK folder and into the platform tools folder and down here in the white area somewhere I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste all the files in there. Because this has the fast boot tool here it is going to allow me to reboot my phone and do some things here. Before I go any further here I want to show you guys real quick on my computer that I am running Windows 8.1 Pro on here and I am getting ready to connect my phone. So before we do all this any further, just go ahead and plug your phone in to the USB cable and have that connected to your computer. Okay, so now what you want to do, there's a couple of things on the phone you want to do as well. You want to make sure you have developer options enabled. So real quick, let me zoom in. We are going to go on the phone real quick here. And I'm going to go walk you through it. So go to all apps, go into your settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom until you find about phone. Click about phone, keep, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom where you see the build. See the build number there is actually the preview, ver preview version of Lollipop. And uh, like I said, that's why I'm flashing the original, the, the one that was released today. So what you want to do is, uh, Click this, say, five to seven times. Just continually click that, and you'll see a prompt, a little pop-up there. It'll say, you are now a developer. All you got to do is click back, and you'll have developer options there. So right there by my finger, you just go ahead and select developer options. By default, developer options is turned on. You want to just come down to where it says USB debugging. 
and you just want to put a check mark right in that box and you're going to get a prompt and basically just tells you that it copies data between your computer and device which is perfectly fine so you want to click OK and then go back to your home screen at the top if you pull down you'll see USB debugging connected your screen may not look like mine exactly because you guys might have KitKat installed I'm not sure but anyway that's what you need to do as far as the phone and let me refocus just a little bit there now the other thing is I'm going to take one more quick look in the device manager on the computer okay guys and check to make sure that there's no issues with the Nexus 5 phone showing up and that I have the Google USB drivers installed so that would be under portable devices so there's my Nexus 5 and the drivers are installed and that means it's going to be able to communicate with my computer and everything's fine there so if you go into your device manager here and you see that you have a yellow triangular looking exclamation point then you need to in, you know install the drivers on this side of it as well sometimes um, that can be an issue and this may not work so getting back to this screen here once you copy the files into this into this page down here somewhere in the white like blank area you want what you want to do is hold the, the shift key down on the keyboard and left click I'm sorry right click on the mouse until you get the the prompt here that says open command window here and uh, you want to left click that so make sure you hold the shift button down your keyboard and right click down here somewhere so then that way you get the command window prompt to come up there so once you get the command window up now here's how you check to make sure that the program is seeing your phone before you can do anything just type in ADB devices and when you hit enter it should go through okay now I'm getting a prompt so it's it's working it's communicating but it says unauthorized and that's let me just focus the camera real quick that's only because I haven't allowed USD be debugging with this RSA fingerprint that'll go away if I put a check mark in that box you want to always allow from this computer and then click OK so that is a normal thing that comes up and it, again it says unauthorized there now what I what I'm gonna do again is run ADB devices again and I should just get nothing but my serial number okay list of devices attached that is the serial number to my phone and it shows up device so I'm all set ready to go so type in ADB reboot bootloader okay and hit enter and you're gonna see over here the phone's gonna reboot and go into fast boot mode okay so now once we're in fast boot mode you can see down here I will focus just to make sure we can see it okay it says down there that you are unlocked now you can also see lots of information there that's really helpful sometimes when you're looking for factory images too and your product name or and things like that so so I am actually unlocked if yours if yours says locked where it says lock state you need to run a command in here that would you know you would need to actually type in here fast boot OEM on space on un, unlock that's what you would need to type in there if yours was locked okay but I'm gonna back up because I know that mine's unlocked so at this point my device is unlocked here all we have to do now guys is type in flash dash all and hit enter and as you can see it is going to go through a series of things and if you look over there it is writing it's going to download stuff and it's going to flash the official Android 5.0 lollipop system image onto the phone and if you get things that say boot.sig recovery.sig you know archive does not contain uh, disregard those that's that doesn't matter that that doesn't really apply so it's going through its process right now and this could take you know it'll take a little bit for it to go through this process and I'm also going to do a video showing how to downgrade too so all right let's see what he's going to do here see you will have a little lock there that's showing unlocked over there that means the bootloader is unlocked so and there is the first look at Android 5.0 lollipop so got some um, circles spinning around there full of colors and over here you guys can see on the screen finished total size 
or total time it says and press any key to exit so we can exit I'm gonna I actually have to select it to exit but I can exit out of there and of course the phone is over here and we can blow that up now get that out here on the screen and focus up a little better here this should be it guys you can do you can flash your devices following the same method uh, on other devices now if you guys get lollipop on here and you want to flash back simply go back to the page I'll show you where to go at the end of the video here and you can download the the um, KitKat image 444 and reflash that back on your phone just leave your bootloader unlocked but like I said you may want to look into that before you you know do that so almost done here and we should be at the at the uh, welcome screen coming up here for the lollipop there it is Android cool so there it is guys welcome I don't want to spend too much more time on the video here but there it is the official Android 5.0 lollipop system image flashed to the Nexus 5 phone working just fine uh, real quick I'm going to go ahead though and minimize this and come back to the screen here um, I'm just going to show you guys, well, we'll go, you know what, we'll just go through it real quick. Actually, no, we won't because i got to set all my stuff up. But anyway, you guys will have fun with it. But um, that's pretty much all I have for you. But if you want to stick around, I'm going to go back to the factory, uh, the factory images page. Um, to, I want to take a look here and just show you guys. Like if you want to, say you want to downgrade, all you need to do is come back here to this page and grab this link right here. So, well, it wouldn't be this link. I'm sorry, it'd be this link. You, you'd get the one here that applies to you. I know the one that applies to me would be this link. So I would download that, go back in and extract that stuff into the uh, developer tools. You know how I did that. Download it, extract them, copy and paste those files in there, and just go through the flash process again. Flash KitKat back on there. So that's how you could downgrade. It's really easy. And I will show you real quick. Android developers. We'll go there real quick and I'll show you that you can just come here and go into the search bar there and type in ADT bundle. And you can download the ADP, ADT bundle, which is, which is what I use, which is right here. So you have to download that in Java. A few things you have to do. Again, I have all the videos on my website for that stuff, guys. Anyway, I don't want to waste any more of your time. Um, glad you guys watched. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and you guys have fun playing with Lollipop. See you later. Have a good one.